The two containers of the same value, volume, first container half filled with sugar syrup and the second container half filled with milk. Half the content of the first container is transferred to the second container, then half of this mixture is transferred back to the first container, then half the content of the first container is transferred back to the second container. We stop there, luckily. Then the ratio of sugar syrup to and milk in the second container is two containers, the same volume, volume, half filled with sugar syrup and half filled with milk. Container 1, container 2, let's say x of sugar syrup, x of milk. Then what do we do? We transition from here to here. When we do that, at step 2, this will become sugar and milk. Sugar will become x by 2, no milk. Sugar is to milk, sugar will become x by 2, milk continues to be x. And then we shift from here to here. So what will get added? This is first shift is done, second shift. When we do this, half of x by 2 will get added here, x by 4. Half of x will come here, x by 2. Then get this and shift there. I'm doing this straight away. I notice that I'm going to deal with x, x by 2, and then x by 4, maybe x by 8, one more step. I'm thinking about this and saying, look, this is, I'm, I'm dealing with this 1 by 2 business. I'm going to simplify this. Say all remain the same. Container 1, container 2. This has sugar to start with of say 8x. Milk to start with of 8x. Half of this goes here. So step 1, step 2, step 3. I'm going to track sugar is to milk, sugar is to milk. After the first transfer is made, this becomes 4x and 0. This becomes 4x and 8x. Step 2, sugar and milk. From 4x and 8x, half and half come here. Same ratio it will come back to. 4x by 2 is 2x. Sugar will become 4x plus 2x, 6x. Milk will become 8x by 2, 4x. Here, what will be remaining? Sugar is to milk will be 2x and 4x. Adding up to 10x, adding up to 6x, total 16x. That's what we start with. One round of check. All good. Now what do we do? We send from here to there. 6x will become 3x. 4x will become 2x. Sugar to milk. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 4x plus 2x. 4x plus difference 2x is 6x. This is 11. This is 5. Adding up to 16. That also seems to work. Step 1, step 2, step 3. Ratio of sugar to milk in the second container at the end of this 5 is to 6. Done. Not too difficult. We have to do it methodically. It really helps. We take the first two numbers to be 8x and 8x and not x and x.